Hello, thanks for stopping by. My name is Sandy. This is the Sister Cousins Lifestyle Channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing a haul. This is my favorite kind of video to do, but one that I'm not going to be doing a whole, whole lot anymore. I'll explain that later. But anyway, we do have a collective haul today. These are items that I picked up over a period of time. Some I picked up most recently um, while I was on my little mini getaway and I shared where I went and what I did. So if you've not seen that video, step back after you finish this one and make sure you check that one out as well. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started today because I have mm, a few little things to share. <laughs> All right, so this first item we're gonna open together. It is from um, Crate and Barrel. And it is just a little decorative ornament piece that I wanted for my living room. And of course I bought it on sale because I don't buy anything these days unless it's like a, you know, investment piece or whatever, which this is not. This is just a decor piece that I am getting because I am doing a refresh of my living room and it's taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to take because I have ordered my um cocktail table and they haven't come in yet but i know certain little accent pieces that i want to have in order to tie the look together so that's what this is so let's go ahead and get it open so this is how it came small piece just a little accent piece that's all and it is in my travertine stone that i've been speaking of so so much this is what it is just a simple little um object that i will use to put on my cocktail books or on my sofa um not my sofa table but my cocktail table or my coffee table books that type of thing so i'm going to show you an example of how i'm going to style this now in a recent video i had uh decorated my uh fireplace console here and i put this little object here that i got which is like a little faux marble piece very simple, but I had it just sitting on the coffee book here. Wasn't ever really crazy about it. So when I saw this piece, I thought that would be a great replacement. So we're just gonna place that in there. I love it. Cute little piece, very different, very heavy, very substantial. And I like that because I wanted to bring in the travertine um, that's going to match with my table just little pieces of it in different places of the house So yeah, that's what I got there may or may not leave it there But I love 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 the piece very very simple Can't really say I love this piece here either, but I do love the piece. Isn't that crazy? Sometimes that just happens. But anyway Here is some of my inspiration for purchasing this piece. You see it here displayed on this shelf you see it here on this mantle and also here on this credenza. Very versatile piece, very small and very subtle. This, on the other hand, is gonna go up to my office. It's actually a paperweight, which it, you know, serves no purpose these days. I'm not in the office where I have papers flying away, but anywho, we'll find someplace else for this to go. I'm not done with it. I still love the piece, just didn't love it there. Now, a few videos back, I shared my entryway where I had redone it and I had added this second lamp here, um, which I love the simple look here. But because I put that lamp there, it took away from another place in my home. And that left this side table without a lamp. Um, you know, I had the black one there. I wasn't crazy about it. So I said at the time when I found this table that I probably would switch out the lamp. Well, I lived with it for a few weeks and sure enough, I did not like the dark color there. I love it much better in the entryway. So that sent me on a hunt for a lamp for this space. So I've been on the hunt for a lamp and I've seen some beautiful ones out here. These are some that I strongly considered. I was looking for a high quality lamp and I really wanted something with some natural stone on it and something that was on the unique side. This one I really hoped would have worked out. This was at Haverty's and I'd seen it on their website, but when I got in store, I did not like it at all. Um, so yeah, I left it there. This one here was not the style I was looking for, but I found it very, very cute. And this one is by Uttermost, and I really, really loved it, even though it has a silver tone. Not for this particular space, but for future. So this is what I chose, and this is an alabaster base lamp, and I love that due to the significance of the stone. 
back to the Bible uh, days, Mary of Bethany had an alabaster box that she anointed Jesus' feet with. And so this stone is very, very precious and has been around for years. And it's been used for centuries in sculpture, jewelry, decorative art, things like that. Um, it is beautiful. It is unique, which is what I really like. It has texture to it and it radiates light. So I love the warmth of it. And you may have seen on the tag, it's also a night light, which is really cool. So I'm going to go ahead and put a um, light bulb in here. And I like to use smart light bulbs in uh, my lamps in my home because I'm lazy like that. And I like to be able to say, Alexa, turn the lights on. Alexa, turn the lights off. <laughs> so we're going to do this and put this one in here and I'll let you see how it looks lit up. Now, I can tell you now that I am not loving the shade and will be probably replacing that at some point. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's go ahead and light it up here and uh, we're just going to turn on the bottom part and you can see that night light part of it. I love the glow of that. Absolutely love that. I see here in the evening time and uh, sometimes I may not want a lot of light, but I want just a little bit of light where I'm sitting here readings um, or look on my computer, I should say, or I'm watching TV. Um, so it's nice to have those options with the lighting. And then I also have um, the upper lighting here, which I have with my smart bulb. I need to go on uh, Amazon and order some more of those because I know they'll have them on sale for Amazon Prime Day. So now let's deal with this shade. I'm not feeling the color of it. Um, also, I know that I have it turned the wrong way because I can see that seam. If I do keep it, I would definitely turn that towards the back. But anyway, I'm still keeping the tags on it for now just to make sure because I always live with something for a few days before I take any tags off to make sure that I'm sure, okay? <laughs> Especially at something at this price point. This lamp was $99 and I do plan on keeping it for a long time, but not necessarily in this space. You know how I do. All right. I think I'm going to end up keeping that. I'm going to leave that tag on for a couple more days, but she's cute. I like her. Let me know about what you think. All right, this item here I bought when I was up at Myrtle Beach. And I shared some clips in the store. This is the piece that I picked up. It is marble. Um, I'm not sure. The base is definitely marble. I'm not sure what this top portion is, but I really like this little object and I am cute, right? <laughs> I'm going to be placing this on my coffee station. Um, I wanted to switch something out there. And so that's where this is going to go. Um, and you're also probably going to see it at some point in my bedroom as well. Like I said, I buy things that I can move around. It could also go right here on this table. I'm not going to be doing that because that's not practical for me. Like I said, I sit here um, so I have coaster here with my water, um, snacks, all kinds of things. So it won't work there, but it could go on a table if you have like a formal living room or a space that you don't use that often. So a nice versatile piece that can move around. It could be on my bookshelf, in my office, lots of stuff I can do with that. But for right now, we're going over here to this coffee station. I'm going to remove this brass hand. I've had him up here for a very long time and was just kind of getting tired of looking at him. So I'm going to give him a little break. I'm going to move my beloved horse head down here and I'm going to place my new piece up where he was. Subtle change, but it gives me a new look and that's what I love. So this is the first house for this new piece here, right here on my coffee station. Now, I definitely like the look for less. So whenever I find something that I feel can achieve a look that I'm going for, that I've seen maybe at a higher end store, but I see it at some place where I can get it affordable, I usually will jump on those types of items. And this is a perfect example of that. This is a um, hurricane candle holder here. Before we get into that, let me just show you a couple of the inspiration pieces and how I've seen them styled at some of the stores. And this is how I will probably display them in my home during the fall winter season. They have these at Pottery Barn and I've been eyeing them for a while, but I wasn't going to pull the plug on them. But Aldi had them the other day or well, about a month or so ago. I think I got them. I want to say... 
I'm sorry I didn't keep the price, but I want to say this might have been $16.99 and then the smaller one was $14.99, somewhere in that range. Very, very affordable and nothing like the price that I would have paid at a pottery firm. But this is what it looks like. It is beautiful. You can put a huge candle in here. Uh, you can put succulents in here and treat it like a little uh, terrarium or something like that. I envision a uh, candle, a large, large, large uh, flameless LED candle in here. The season of, you know, the fall season is it's approaching, it's coming. <laughs> we got a little while of summer left, but I'm already thinking about the types of things that I may uh, be doing for the fall season, going into the Christmas season. And I always have a lot of candles in my home. I just love the warm glow of candles and things like that. So I cannot wait to place these around my home. I'll probably be using these um, in my bedroom um, during that fall winter season. So this is what the large one looks like. And then there was the smaller box, which like I said, I think maybe it was $14.99 and $16.99. I really don't remember, but you know that middle aisle at Aldi is someplace that you just need to check often because you just never know. You never know what you are going to find in there. And so this one actually comes, uh-oh, I don't want to break it. You know, I am clumsy when it re relates to some glass. So I will break some glass in a minute. This one, it was two in here. So I actually have a medium size one and the small one. So very cute little set here. And I'm just going to sit this right here so that I don't end up breaking it. So you a buy. Don't stop breaking all this glass around here. All right, what else we have? Okay, so the next portion of the haul is going to, well, it's one other item, hold on. <laughs> All right, so I do have an open floor plan. And so when I go with the theme, I try to carry it throughout the home, not on overload, but at least little touches of it. So when I saw this, um, it's a faux travertine, I'm pretty sure, but the look of it definitely matches perfectly with what's in the living room. My kitchen is like literally right there. So this is going to be like a soap dispenser for the kitchen. So I picked that up, it was on the clearance rack and it was um, $10. So I picked it up and you know, this is something that will be timeless. I can use this over and over again as long as this pump doesn't give out. That's the one thing about buying these items on clearance. You do have to make sure that they the pump works properly, but if it doesn't, take it back. I don't care if you have your soap in it, take it back, you know, cause you shouldn't have to purchase things that don't work. Stuff is too expensive these days. That's my tip of the day. I've taken stuff back. I don't care, you know, if you just bought it. But anyway, let me get off that soapbox. The next item I bought from Home Goods as well. And it is these bales. And I spoke about this in my um, travel vlog. I did a Christmas theme tree last year for Christmas. And so I used a lot of bells and things like that. And so I needed more. And so I always try to add to my collection each year with just a little bit of things. I actually have a lot, but these were only $7, $7.99. So I picked those up and that's what those are for. So in addition to picking up items that I may see in my retail stores when I have a theme for Christmas, I also seek out those same items like from thrift stores. That's my primary source when I can. So in the thrift store, and you just never know when you're gonna find it. I found these probably a month or so ago. There was only one, it's a candle holder, but it looks sort of like a horn or something. So I think it'll um, fit in perfectly with my, um, music theme for this year and this was $4.99 but of course I always go on discount day and so I did not pay $4.99 for it but I thought it was cute I wish that they had had two more but they didn't you know how the thrift stores are so I got what they had um yeah 
but I thought it was cute. And it's really heavy. So this is like a uh, solid brass uh, material. This is very substantial. So I like that as well. Very good quality. And along those same lines, I found these also at the thrift store. Uh, these were $2.99 each. And again, I get them on a discount. This is also a candle holder. So they go like this. But isn't that cute? I'm, of course, I'm going to take all this stuff off. That is not um, necessary. But yeah, these are super cute. Look at that. So yeah, I'm going to be working on these to determine how I will use them. But for this price, you just could not beat it. Look at that. Aren't those cute? I don't know what this is. I guess they had it attached to something. Anyway, I'm going to take all that stuff off of there. And I'm going to be using these. Those are cute. Now, I could do it like this. Look at me styling for Christmas already, child. Um, that could be my centerpiece. That's going to be cute. Look at my grandchildren's toys over there. See, the life of a YouTuber. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I like. Uh-huh. Coming soon. <laughs> All right, so I go to the thrift store very often because, you know, you just never know what you'll find. On one of my visits, I found this ice bucket that I definitely do not need. I have so many ice buckets, but I love them because I love to decorate my bar cart for the seasons or whatever. And so having a nice new little piece or new to me piece is a good way to, you know, kind of keep it interesting for myself and my guests. This was $2.99, and again, I go, always go on discount day, so it was probably two bucks for this, but isn't that cute? I love the shape of it um, with the angles on it, the gold, pristine condition, pristine condition, and that's another thing I love about the, um, the Goodwill is that you just never know what you're going to find. Some things, you know, they're not so good. You just leave those, but things like this, I couldn't leave this. So cute. So this will be on my um, bar card at some point very soon. Is that all I got? Ah, one other thing that I got um, from the thrift store that I wanted to share. Uh, actually, two other things. Not the, yeah. Anyway, you'll see. <laughs> all right. I picked these up at the thrift store. And these, you'll see here why I picked them up. You see the little jockey on here? These are so cute. Just two little low ball, I guess they call them low ball glasses or whatever. They were 49 cents each, but I just thought that they were so nice. I just love that. So cannot wait to um, clean them again. I've already cleaned them, but you know, I do that before I bring anything in my home. But anyway, sanitize them again and get them shined up for my coffee station. The last thing that I bought is actually a lampshade that I needed for a thrifted lamp that I shared a couple videos ago. But I really think that I'm going to take that lampshade back and replace this one. As I'm looking at this, I'm not feeling this lampshade. I know I need to turn it around so this seam is not showing, but I think I want to go with a different color here. So what I'm going to end up doing is taking this lampshade off of here and putting it on the thrifted lamp that I got and then returning <laughs> the lampshade. It's a good thing that I'd already decided to return this because when I looked at it again, I realized it's dented. I think I'm going to do is take this lampshade off of here, put it on the thrifted lamp, which is upstairs in my bedroom, and then get a new lampshade for this. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. So let's go ahead and take this lampshade off and make sure that it works for the other lamp. All right, don't mind this room because it's not guest ready, but this is where I put that other thrifted lamp up here because it needed a lamp in here. So we're gonna try this shade on here and see if it works. Ah, okay. works just fine. So we're going to leave that one there. Yep. That works.
works just fine. I haven't even plugged the lamp up or anything, but I'll take care of that. But yeah, that's nice. So I just removed the black shade from the one near the entryway and put that here to see how I would like a black lampshade here. I'm not sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. If the black would be better or a uh, beige color, a beige linen, which is what I was originally thinking. Not quite sure yet what I want to do. This is the rest of the room. It's not clean, y'all, so that's why I'm kind of panning out very carefully. This is real life over here. We're just playing around right now, trying to figure things out. Um, yeah, the black looks good, but I think the beige might be better. Let's see something here. That's nice. <laughs> That's real nice. Why is that thing? Oh, because this is a smart light bulb. So it's trying to get me to go ahead and program it, which I do need to do. Yeah. yeah that'll be another video where you see where I decide whatever it is I'm going to do here. Now, as I was sitting there chatting with you all, I kind of feel like this needs to be a little bit more front and center. So I think I'm going to try it here and move this over here on the book. And that's what that little vignette looks like. That's really interesting. So I'll probably try that for a little while. Of course, I need to get the paper and stuff away from my um, haul here. But yeah, I might try that for a little while and see how I like it there. And that's exactly what I like about home decor pieces. I love the versatility of it. I love buying quality pieces um, that I can use, you know, from season to season or year to year without them being, you know, going out of style or looking dated or whatever. I try to stay away from the trendy items because you can't keep up with trends out here. They change too regularly, but I do uh, participate in some of the trends, but I'm very thoughtful when I do that. I never want anyone to walk into my home and say, oh, I saw that piece at Ross. I saw that at Ross. I saw that at Ross. I saw that at Ross or Burlington or TJ Maxx or Home Goods. You know, I try Don't get me wrong. I will still shop at those places, but just in moderation. I really am going for a more curated look for my home. Try to, from time to time where I can, purchase a few little quality, unique pieces that are different from, you know, what you're going to see every day, anywhere type of situation. I really enjoy that. I love conversation pieces. I just love uniqueness. So if that's something that you're interested in, please be sure to hit that subscribe button before you leave today. Um, and I should have said I do that on a budget. So if that's something that you're interested in, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not currently subscribed and the post notification bell. And if you're a returning family member, thank you so, so much for stopping back by. I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope to see you all over here on my next one. Bye-bye.